Hey horror fans, once again it's the Horror Mizumani G and today we're going to talk about Annabelle Creation. Now Annabelle Creation is a 2017 supernatural horror theory it is a prequel to Annabelle. Annabelle is part of the Conjuring universe, that's right. Even horror movies are now doing their uh, world building universes, but this is a prequel to 2014's Annabelle. This movie stars uh, Stephanie Sigmund. Uh, Tabitha Bateman and Lulu Wilson. You might remember Lulu Wilson. She was actually in Ouija, Origin of Evil. She was pretty good in that. I uh, wonder if she does good. So let's talk about Annabelle Creation, though. Now, Annabelle Creation starts with, uh, give me a second here, Samuel and Esther Mullins. Samuel Mullins is a uh, doll, doll maker. He makes very beautiful dolls. And a beautiful dollar B. Uh, fortunately, something really bad happens to her in a terrible accident, and 12 years later, they decided to rent their house out to some orphanage girls. Orphanage girls, the two main orphanage girls in this one is Janice and Linda. Uh, Linda is played by Lulu Wilson, and Janice, she's an orphan girl, disabled orphan girl, because she suffers from polio. Keep in mind that this film is set in the 1950s, and polio was very prevalent back in those times before vaccines finally cured it. And so they decided to rent their house out to these orphanage girls. Uh, fortunately, weird shit starts to happen, and Janice starts to see, gets attacked by supernatural forces. Forces, and eventually she encounters the creepy ass Annabelle doll. Now we don't know what type of doll it is then, but we all know it ain't it ain't a nice doll. And like I said, weird shit starts to happen, and uh, supernatural things start to happen to Janice, and also starts to attack the other girls. And they, it's up to them to figure out what the hell is going on in this house and what happened to the Mullins dollar. Now, keep in mind, I actually saw Annabelle. I didn't say it was a bad film. It really had some creepy moments in it. It just was not executed well. Uh, once again, it was one of those, it was, I figured it was a cash grab because it wanted to cash in on the Conjuring success. And when I heard they were making a sequel of it, I'm like, wow, why didn't we make a sequel out of this or a prequel, to be honest? But obviously it must have made enough money to warrant this one. And uh, and goodness sake, this film is awesome. It is very great. A very well-made horror picture. Those type of Origin of Evil, the filmmakers obviously knew the mistakes that they made in the first one. And this one is definitely much better than Annabelle. First of all, let's talk about Lulu Wilson. Lulu Wilson was very outstanding in Ouija, Origin of Evil, and she's outstanding here. Very well-trained act, uh, actress for a girl that young age. She really does a great job in portraying this young girl who's, in, uh, who's obviously trying to survive in such a very, well, uh, very particular environment. She really cares about Janice and even the girl, uh, what's this, Tabitha Bateman? Yeah, Tabitha Bateman. She does a good job playing... Um, playing Janice, the disabled girl. Uh, like I said, those two really carry the movie very well. Everyone does a really good job here. Uh, the direction, this film was directed by uh, David F. Sandberg. He does a great job in creating the very good scares. They don't use jump scares, which I'm great, but they make the entire film, film, film with tension. And they really scare the crap out of uh, the girls in some of the scenes that they have. And I was very well pleased with how the film was written, how it was directed, how it looks, you know, very good, nice shots, real angle-wide shots. Everything in this film was great. Ema Miranda, uh, Otto, who plays um, Miranda, who plays Esther Mullins, she does a good job. As well as Anthony, uh, I might screw his last name up. I really can't pronounce it. Sam Mullins, he does a great job. Obviously, that these two really miss their daughter, whose real name actually is Annabelle. That's the real surprise. So, uh, yeah, her name is B, but we figure out that we all know that her name is Annabelle. It's not a spoiler. So people who think I'm spoiling the movie, but her real name is Annabelle. It's listed in the IDBM, what you call them, so there's no spoilers here. So eventually that's where they got the name of the doll Annabelle comes in. And I really actually like the ending. Uh, I won't spoil it for you, but definitely make sure that you spoil the ending of it as well. So overall, this is a definitely a mark improvement of of annabelle uh once again the filmmakers did a very good job uh it was rated r which i'm very glad that they decided to go the r route i thinking now uh filmmakers are really starting to understand that when it comes to horror you can't just make horror films just pg-13 and 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 not uh 
have logic thrown out the window of it. You can with some movies, but other movies such as this, they need the rated R version. So I'm very pleased about that. I'm very pleased about this film. Very well directed, very well acted. So on my scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Annabelle Creation a 8.5. Also, if you're going to see Annabelle uh, Creation, I've seen it, uh, a couple of the people have mentioned it, and I did see it when I went to the theaters. Uh, they will show a four-minute clip of it. Now, I don't know if they're doing this all throughout the, uh, all the theaters that are showing Creation. It's a four-minute clip about it, where it actually shows uh, Pennywise, played by, um, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, but I think they really need to stop that. I know they're trying to market it. I know they're trying to push this film so they can make a lot of money. But in my opinion, that should have been saved for the movie. I mean, we already seen two good vid uh, uh, trailers for the pictures, but we don't need any more. I mean, come on, guys. Leave some suspense so that way we can actually enjoy it. Not that I don't have a problem with it. I do understand you're trying to market this film so you can make a lot of money off of it because it is going to make a lot of money. But you don't need to continue to push this film and market it doesn't really give away too much we've seen the scenes in the trailers before but in my opinion we don't need to see any more trailers any more uh, uh four minute shots of it let's just wait for it to come out and continue to show the trailers let the it for come out and that's it you know enough of this so what do you think about annabelle creation have you seen it have you seen Annabelle? Comment below, let me know, and we'll talk about it. Did you really like Creation? Was it a mark improvement? Or do you think it sucked just as bad or worse than Annabelle? Comment below, and let me know. And so, like I said, that's my video for Annabelle Creation. I really do enjoyed it. I think, you know, I think we're seeing a mass mark improvement when it comes to horror. So hopefully uh, the filmmakers have learned their lessons and stopped with this PG-13 rated crap. We don't need it anymore. Okay, well, like I said, that's my video for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscription button so you can subscribe to my channel. And also ring that bell. That way you're notified when I put up new content on my channel. Uh, please stay tuned for tomorrow when I will do my uh, weekly recap of the latest episode of The Strain. Of The of Strain as well. Also, all my social media links will also be in the description below. Uh, once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G, and always remember that horror rules.